No, don't have that. I drink the water. Mm. My tooth. Okay. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> The battery's gonna run out. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abby Molinax. If you're new here, and today I'm going to be basically interviewing mm -hmm. my husband. Um, On my ideogram. Yes. So, just a side note, I get really, really nerdy about personality test. Trey gets really annoyed because... It's the same one every time. I feel she like, asks me to take them all the time and it's the same one. <laughs> I feel like every, every couple time. of years they come out with like a different love language test or a personality test and I get all of them and I love to research on them, listen to podcasts. I just love all types of relationship and personality stuff so it's really no surprise that we're doing this video at this point. Three. Oh, oh wait, I forgot that to tell y'all that he is an Enneagram type three. Okay, so the Enneagram type three is the achiever and I had to write this down because there's no way I could remember it, but it's the success oriented, adaptable, excelling, driven, and image conscious. What now? Is that uh, a good thing? Do you, do you like that? I mean, kind of. <laughs> Honestly, reading I hit, I your stuff makes me tired. Yeah. Don't you think like you're just so driven and like image conscious and I'm not neither one of those two things <laughs> and it made me really tired listening to like to what you want. Yeah, but I yeah. Try. So your basic fear is to be worthless, but At you're all. you're basic desire is to feel valuable. Yeah, I mean, I think everybody's kind of somewhat, they want to feel yeah, valuable in, in a way. I mean, I feel like it's not just a, a type three thing. I think when you no, when you're think valuable when to somebody, that, then it's... When they say that, it's like, that is like your ultimate. Like, it might not be, everybody wants to feel valuable, but like a type three, that's their like ultimate yeah, I like goal. I like my family depending on me. Cause, I mean, I feel like I... Good thing. I like that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys, we need some followers here. Uh, <laughs> so, how would you say that you handle conflict? Do you want me to answer? Not great. Uh, it Honestly, all, it, it, I depend, it so. depends on what the conflict is. Like, if it's something that I am very opinionated on or I feel like needs a voice, then I'll say something. But if it's people arguing over something stupid, then I'm not just I'm not gonna say it. just because they're arguing or they're fighting over something. I'm not just gonna butt in. But I don't think I handle it well. I try to just avoid it and mm -hmm. just do something else. If someone's arguing, I go in another room because yeah, same. So a type three is known for avoiding conflict, and so is a type nine. I'm a type nine enneagram, and so You're we a just peacemaker. So we both just like avoid conflict because uh, I feel like a lot of people have asked me like do y'all fight all the time or um people ask me that a lot in college because we were dating and we had dated for quite some time at that even in college and we just so, push all of our emotions down <laughs> and they were like do y'all fight so much and blah blah and I feel like there are some people who they in order to feel intimacy they need to have a like a little fire and they need to fight in order to feel like they're close and me and Trey are not like that like yeah, if we fight I feel like their world is ending what did you just say <laughs> yeah, little I think fights and what, stuff, my, my, like... my point that I was trying to make is that some people need that and we don't and we just kind of avoid conflict okay another thing is that type threes are known to um, be like class president or a role that represents that that. <laughs> represents a whole group or homecoming. They, it said homecoming queen or prom king. They will choose type threes to represent a group of people, and I know that that's true for you because um, for pro ams and stuff like that, they'll call you like golf courses will call you to play with big time people because you're a good representation for them. 
And that's a really good honor, honestly. I mean, it's very nice of them to think of me in that way. Yeah. Um, for people like my brother, I think he's a type five and he feels so much pressure. If you say that you're, um, that you look up to him or that he's a role model, he feels so much pressure. He, he absolutely hates it um, if you say that. But for type threes, a lot of people do look up to you just because of like the air that you bring and um, your achievements and stuff like that. So do you feel pressure with that or do you kind of like it? I mean, I guess a little. Uh, I mean, very thankful that anybody would think of me as a role model. I mean, um, I ain't saying that you're a role model. I'm I mean, thanks for, thanks, thanks for saying I was your boo I mean, and a role model. I feel like this video is turning into like, let's just blow Trey's skirt up. I mean, that's what it feels kind of good. So, um, it says, as children, type threes learn to recognize activities that were valued by their parents and peers and put energies into excelling at those activities. And that is so true for you. Yeah, in my household, it wasn't, you weren't gonna do anything halfway. If you were gonna play baseball or basketball, football, golf, it was. He, okay. You're gonna go so when the whole he, time. Okay, so. It wasn't like, let's go and play upward, no shade to upward, but. Everybody wins. I mean, you get participation <laughs> trophies, okay? Not if you get, upward. But you're not just gonna go and play baseball for just the fun of it. It's like, okay, you decide you wanna play baseball, we're gonna go and get somebody to do a personal lesson for pitching, and we're gonna do this thing. That's how it was. Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, it taught me a lot. It taught me how to, you know, really put for put forth a lot of effort in what I was doing. And I mean, I was very blessed that my mom and dad would even let me have lessons for baseball or whatever I wanted. And uh, and so, yeah, I mean, in, in my house, it was if you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it the right way. Which, go on, boy, get it, boy. Oh. That's kind of what he was like. In that kind of tone. Oh. oh. Get it, boy. Get it, boy. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> It'll be interesting to see how we handle, like... I'm gonna be cool. Jude and Sawyer, because I'm, gonna, I'm cool. gonna be like, let's go, you know, get some ice cream and, like, just love each other. We're gonna fight a lot about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. You need attention, encouragement, and affirmation in order to thrive. And if you don't, so sad. you feel yeah. like you have no value. So you just basically need to tell, you need someone to tell you that you're pretty. And that- I know I'm not pretty, but I need, so I need someone to tell me that i everything, I'm, yeah, all the time. I need my skirt blown up, yes. Guys, I'm so bad at this. I feel like, um, I feel like, do you not feel like you thrive? Because I'm not good at it. I don't think. You're not great at the, the, <laughs> the, the give me compliments. Yeah, you, do, yeah. you do give encouragement, but yeah, it's sad that I need all that. <laughs> That's I not like good you quality. Never, you never want your number. Like, it's like, okay, I take the test and you read your number and you're like, that is so embarrassing. <laughs> okay, so this is so true about Trey. So what, what type threes are able to do is they put their feelings in a box. And the reason, <laughs> I thought that this was like a man thing because you hear like people say this about like how men what can- What don't feel anything. <laughs> how men can compartmentalize. So I thought Trey was just doing it, could, but really it's his personality and he views feelings as Roadblocks. I'm like they, literally reading like, this as she keeps telling me what my <laughs> stuff is. It's like, wow, that's, that's pretty accurate. So, like, that feelings get in your way of getting to what you need to do, I'll and so you can truly put down. them away and not feel. Yeah, I put my feelings way down. I mean, that's super healthy, and I suggest everyone to do that. My feelings, like, I don't want to talk about my feelings. My feelings are fine. I can handle my feelings. Like right now, we're I feel, in a really I feel, healthy. I feel super uncomfortable. Right I know now. this is kind of vulnerable, and this is why we're doing type three and not type nine because I did not want to do this. Bye. You're careful not to let people see you down or depressed, so you basically have to look like you have it all together and are happy all the time. Yeah, pretty much. Are you not exhausted, dude? Be, I would be, be so be, exhausted. Apparently, being all a three is pretty tired. My um, gosh, it made me so. That's why tired. I sleep good. Jeez. I guess so. So, how do you handle stress? 
probably I guess. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little hint in that in a your worst self is a nine. <laughs> so, Great. <laughs> it made so, me feel so good. I like being alone. Yeah. I like going to like away or just mm. give me an hour. Veg or, out. Or yeah, I need to just do something and veg out for couple hours. Where do you feel like you're most happy? Like at your happiest state? I really think I can answer this. So I feel like you're your happiest when you're around number one people. Like I feel like you're such a social, you're one of the most social people I've ever met. To counteract my most, probably one of the most unsocial people mm -hmm. that you've ever met. Yeah. You're so social. I feel like if you had your core people, like your friends and yeah. your family all in one spot and they were, and you were doing good, like let's say you were doing good in the golf tournament so and then sad. and then everybody so was sad. saying that you're awesome. <laughs> that sounds so <laughs> terrible. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it like, does it. Has is a it light true? on me. Is it true? Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I guess like being in a tournament and having my core people, family, and all that there. That does sound pretty nice. So let's talk about one more thing. Like, you're not pregnant, are you? Dude. Okay. I just feel like you're about to surprise what me. What the so heck? Like, okay. So how would you describe a type three in a marriage? Well, I mean, I think that everything that you said kind of goes along with being married. Like, try, I guess a type three kind of wants, he would want to overachieve in being a good husband or father. Mm -hmm. So he'd probably be really good at like giving stuff. <laughs> I think that I'm a good giver. Are you uh, talking about physical things? Like a car? No, I'm, I'm talking about just like doing things like. Oh, your time. Yeah, you give time, you give. I feel like you, you try to achieve in being a good husband and father. So spending time or doing, I think threes do things to get stuff in return. Oh, when, oh my gosh, uh, yes. I yes. have a problem with that and I work on that a lot. Like, I keep, like keeping score. With me? Yeah, like you maybe, score with me? maybe not keeping score. This is score. a game I didn't even know we were playing. I want her to know that I did the count I got to clean the oh, counter do. Okay, so it, it drives me crazy, but like, like he'll be like, I just emptied the dishwasher and I'm like, Good job. You're like, congratulations. I'm, I'm like, just like what I don't <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, give me words want, of affirmation. You want me to say you did a good job? <laughs> no. I'm saying that like this is what a top three would be. <laughs> <laughs> it is so sad, but like but it I, is. I feel like I feel like it's, there's a ton of good, but there's also a ton of bad. And so, with everything, I mean. With everything. Okay, so, I mean, this video was kind of long and drawn out and I didn't intend it to be, but it is what it is. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, we could do one where he does the I'll interviewing Enneagram, Enneagram nines. Um, just let me know in the comments if you want to see that or DM me on Instagram. I hope y'all don't think I'm a self-centered butthole. I feel like people are going to watch this and be like, man, this guy's all about himself. <laughs> me, me, me. He's not. Like, I, I try he, not to be. You're not. But I do struggle with it. You're so. really not. If you are not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Hit the button. And we'll see you in the next one. See you. Bye, guys.